Selective laser trabeculoplasty, commonly referred to as SLT, is a highly effective first-line therapy for glaucoma and can be performed with the Tango and Tango Reflex systems from LX. SLT can reduce intraocular pressure as effectively as medication, but without the associated issues of patient compliance and side effects. On average, SLT achieves a 30% reduction in IOP when used as a first-line therapy. During the procedure, an SLT Gonio laser lens is used to focus the laser light onto the trabecular meshwork. This lens has one times magnification to avoid changes to the spot size. Using frequency doubled ND YAG 532 nanometer nanosecond laser technology, approximately 50 confluent spots of laser light are applied along the trabecular meshwork to treat 180 degrees of the trabecular meshwork. The treatment spot size is fixed at 400 microns to irradiate the whole width of the trabecular meshwork. It's recommended to set the initial energy level at 0.8 millijoules. The energy level is increased in 0.1 millijoule increments until the threshold for mini-bubble formation or cavitation is reached and then reduced until no bubble formation is noted. The energy level should be monitored and adjusted as necessary throughout the procedure, as energy uptake will alter depending on the amount of pigment variation. Extensive mini-bubble formation indicates that the energy level is too high. SLT works by applying selective photothermolysis of the pigmented trabecular meshwork cells this process stimulates the release of proteins and cytokines and the recruitment of macrophages to improve the circulation of aqueous humor through the trabecular meshwork and the inner wall of the Schlem's canal. The selective photothermolysis of SLT takes place at a cellular level, producing a wound healing effect without causing structural damage to the trabecular meshwork. Due to its restorative, non-destructive mechanism, SLT does not cause scarring of the trabecular meshwork, making it an ideal adjunct to other glaucoma procedures, including eye track MIGS procedures. One to three days after the procedure, IOP should drop significantly, although the IOP lowering effect of SLT can take up to two weeks in some patients. Depending on the post-operative risk of a pressure spike, follow-up visits can be scheduled at one week, one month, three months and six months after the treatment, and every six months thereafter to measure IOP.